foreground. Multi-level queue. ML queue. What is multi-level queue? Oh my god. Multi-level queue scheduling happen in the ready processes, which can be divided into two different classes. Foreground. Background. These two classes have different scheduling needs. For this kind of situation, multi-level queue scheduling is used. Ready queue is divided into separate queues for each class of processes. Now, let us see how it works. Now let's see how the CPU process scheduling. In this algorithm, the processes are grouped accordingly to their types. Once the queue is ready, it is then divided into several small queues. Then, the group of processors is placed into each group. It is label highest priority and the lowest priority, which means the upper level queue has a higher priority than the lowest level. Then, each small queue is labeled with P1. P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, and P8. If suddenly, P3Q is not available anymore, the processes cannot change their queues and their places during the lifetimes. But the other queue will still works, so the P2 will works after the P1 work finished. Same goes here, the P5 will begin works, after the P4 is finished work, and then the P6 will begin to work, after the P5 finished work. There might use, each one of the CPU scheduling algorithm, in each queues. So, here we use, FCFS, RR, SJF, and, Priority. So here, FCFS, represent first come, first serve. RR represent, round robin, and, SJF, represent shortest job first. And we do have Priority. By the way, what is the, advantage of using, multi-level queue? We can apply separate scheduling for a various kind of algorithm process, for example, FCFS, SJF, round robin, and priority scheduling. What about the disadvantage of multi level queue? In multi level queue scheduling, the main disadvantage is the starvation problem for lowest level process. Lowest priority, will wait for the long amount of time, because of lower priority or highest priority process taking a large amount of time. This is one of the example of multi-level queue. This is the full explanation of multi-level queue. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.